So I thought I'd show you guys what I'm doing in Super Collider. Working on the working on a piece for solo acoustic bass, contrabass for my friend Evan. So we're doing some FFT stuff, which is fast Fourier transform. And basically what it does is it splits the sound into composite simple sine waves. So it takes all the partials of the overtone series of a particular sound, and then you can kind of take it apart. So I'll play the original sound and then I'll um, show you what I'm doing with it. So first we have to boot the server, which I think is already booted, yeah. And then what we do is we decide what the size of the window is going to be for the FFT process. So this is going to be 4,096 samples. So it's pretty big. So the thing about this is if it's smaller, it's more accurate with rhythmic stuff. And when it's larger, it's, it's going to represent more of the composite frequencies. So we're going more for a larger size. So we don't really care about the rhythm because we're going to do a time stretch on it. So anyway, we do that. Then it figures out what the size is going to be of the particular sound we're using. And then you run this and what this does is it puts the sound into, it converts the audio into uh, phase vocoder information or FFT information, which is just uh, sine waves, uh, the magnitude and the uh, phase information of each sine wave. So that takes a few seconds to process. And then once that happens, because the sound is actually around seven seconds, five to seven seconds. Then I created this uh, synth def, which is going to separate the bins. So each bin is kind of a, my understanding is that it's a kind of a filter a very narrow bandwidth filter. It's just going to represent one or two. So if it's one bin, it's going to be actually one sine wave. Um, so, so there'll be thousands of bins in the sound itself, but we want to kind of isolate um, different bins and I'll show you what I'm doing here. But let's listen to the original sound first, which is this. It's just a uh, bowing really hard on the, I had him tune down the E string to C. So this is just in one channel for now, but don't worry about that. We're going to pan it out and stuff. So he's playing kind of close to the bridge and pretty hard. So we're getting a lot of the overtones with this sound. So then I run this task here, which is going to just a little bit about what it's doing. It, it's kind of a, recursive function, so it's going to do this thing 100 times. So it's going to randomly choose between different wait times for each sound that it fires. And then we're going to, it's going to choose between the bins to start with. And I kind of went all the way up in odd numbers up to 69. And then uh, the end bin is where it ends. So if it starts uh, with bin number one, it's going to choose to play two to 233 bins above that. So that's the ending bin. So I just use the Fibonacci series with this as I often do <laughs> for some reason. But um, yeah, and then it just fires that and it's then it waits at a certain wait time here. It's gonna choose between these wait times and it's gonna fire again. And it's gonna do that 100 times. Now, what I, I'm also doing a time stretch here. So the rate of playback, um, if it's just one, it's going to play the sound file at the same rate. So we could actually try that. Um, or we'll do a faster rate. We'll say a rate of two. Um, so that's going to be twice as fast as the original sound. So let's do that and hear what that sounds like. So I'm also using some reverb here. So 
So each one of those is the bin, and it's choosing a certain number of bins. So it's a group of bins. But it could just be two bins, or it could be 233 above the starting bin. So let's, what I did was I made the rate a lot slower. So we kind of, we're stretching it out too. So let's hear what that sounds like. So there's a lot you can do with this. I also want to thank my friend Josh Parmenter for helping me with some of the code. I've been using Super Collider for quite some time, but I'm still not not at a super high level with it. But um, I really like like the power of the language. I also do C sound too, but um, yeah, this is kind of what I've been using consistently the most. So just to further demonstrate what what um. We'll uh, we'll do one more thing and then we'll call it. But say if I just want to use the first up to the five bins here, um, one to five, it's still going to choose. Well, let's limit our choices for. Oops. Let's limit our. Why is that capitalized? Caps lock. Also, for, th for the end bin, we're going to just have it be uh, just one bin. So you can just, or we'll do two bins. So you can kind of hear what, uh, adding one bin, what just a couple bins sounds like. Now it's going to be the earlier partials of the sound. So the fundamental um, up to like the fourth or fifth partial. But this doesn't exactly represent the partials. That's more the bins. So the bins are spaced evenly across the whole thing. So um, that's how that kind of works. So this could only be one or two partials really, but we'll see. And then let's also change the rate back to one, just so we can keep it simple with that. So this is just the very lowest partials. Yeah, so see, this is kind of just a fundamental, really. So what I would do, actually. Oh. So we're probably going to need more. Let's go up to, uh, let's say, oops, up to 11. So the reason why um, there's so many bins is because we use such a large uh, 
FFT size, which gives us a better representation of the sound itself. So let's try it now that we have a few more bins in here. So now we're hearing those higher harmonics. Let's go, let's go higher. So there's a lot you could do with this, obviously. Let's try this. All right, so we're getting a lot of those uh, upper harmonics. Should I bring this? The fundamental of this sound is around 30, I believe. So we're getting that, then we're getting some of the higher ones. Anyway, so that's it. So I just wanted to show you guys what I'm up to. Still doing the film stuff, but I'm also working on this piece for solo bass and electronics that I'm excited about. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.